Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I know you have heard a lot. It has been not necessarily easy to take it all in and to process it, so I will try to be brief. To share with you information about what hopefully everyone has so far received, a little bookmark that describes a campaign going on here in Northeast Ohio that is part, in fact, of a national campaign under the auspices of an organization called Move to Amend. People heard and will be hearing from George Friday in a few weeks. She's come to Cleveland many times. She's on the National Coordinating Committee of Move to Amend. This is a national campaign that seeks to restore or maybe to create for the very first time Authentic, real self-governance, self-determination, democracy, whatever you want to call it. For some, it's to restore. For others, hey, we never had it to begin with. Wouldn't it be nice? And the way to accomplish that, at least one important step in that direction, is to end two bizarre constitutional doctrines. The one says that money equals free speech. It goes back to the 1970s. The second says that corporations are legal persons. So let's take each of those real quickly. If money is speech, then those who have the most money have the most speech. Last time I checked, that's not the definition of a democracy, but of a plutocracy, an oligarchy, a monoc monocracy. Take your pick. Whatever it is, it basically is, it ain't we the people. It ain't you and I seated around the table having an authentic, real voice in the decisions governing our lives, our communities, our natural world. As far as corporations go, being legal persons, that is a legal gyration that for me is hard to even imagine, let alone codify in the Constitution. The Bill of Rights was meant for people alone, real people, human persons not corporate entities. Yet it's been manipulated for the very first time the 14th Amendment, which was passed to provide free black slaves due process and equal protection, yet was perverted by corporations to say, aha, corporate attorney said, should apply to us. By the mere presence of corporate constitutional rights and money being defined as speech, what we have today is, someone mentioned before, our country is broken, I disagree. Our country is not broken. It's fixed. As in great. Great to benefit the wealthy few and corporations. It's been this way for a very long time. And despite, with due respect, who we elect, that's important to work on campaigns, to elect or unelect people. But despite who we elect, and despite the laws or the regulations we pass or get rid of, which are also important, but if all we do is focus on trying to change the players of the game, that's what elections are, or trying to change the plays of the game, that's what new laws and regulations are. If we don't change the rules of the game, that's what the Constitution is about then forever and ever and ever the system will be rigged against William, us. William. It's as if, using football metaphors, since we are in Super Bowl season, if we, the people, have to begin on the one yard line and have to go 99 yards, but the power elite gets to start at midfield and has to go only 50 yards, who's going to get and score more often? That's what we are up against. And every single year, it seems like that the power elite gets closer to the goalpost. And will forever and ever be that way unless we change the rules of the game. So, Move to Amend is a campaign that seeks to do that. To call for a constitutional amendment to end these constructs that corporations are people, money is speech, and the way to do that is to do a grassroots social movement. To do what we're trying to do with this issue that women did in ending their lack of rights, 
that slaves did to try to end their lack of rights, that young people did by trying to end their lack of rights, and so many others, by forming a social movement to amend the Constitution. To do that, communities around the country are getting on the ballot initiative campaigns. I ask you to, if you are a resident, a registered voter of the city of Cleveland, number one, we invite you to sign a petition. Number two, after March 15th, because you've been asked to do some work to circulate a petition to get a candidate, and I want to respect that, but that campaign goes until March 15th, after which, between March 15th and early July, for those who are interested in helping the cause, we need 5,000 ballot signatures in the city of Cleveland. I ask you respectfully to carry a petition, and I have extra petitions. And finally, third, if you're part of an organization and want to hear more about this, would be glad, very glad, to come and talk to your group. Let me just end with this. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I am worn out by constantly reacting, responding to other people's agenda, the power of these agenda, where we always seem to be just trying, at best, to make things a little less bad. Right? right? Yeah. And that's what it seems like all too often our campaigns are about on issues campaigns, trying to make things a little less bad, maybe just a little better. We need to change the fundamental institutions and structures. We can't do that unless we change the rules of the game. I want to go on the offensive. I want to put the power elite on the defensive, if you will, to back up and put them on their heels. Here for once, refreshing is a way where we can do this. And we can do this by sending a powerful message, getting this measure on the ballot in Cleveland, sending a message, joining 500 other communities around the country that have already weighed in on this. And as part of our, and I'll end with this, as part of the Cleveland petition, initiative petition, someone mentioned before, we cannot, in the city of Cleveland, those of you who are residents and show up to city council, you cannot speak. Right? There is a provision in this that calls for an annual public hearing. Only once a year, but it's a start, in which every citizen can show up and it's mandated, it has to be sponsored by the city, where residents can show up and testify as to the impact of money on elections and the impact of money on public policy within the city of Cleveland from wealthy individuals and corporations. And don't we know that the big money coming from wealthy individuals and corporations has corrupted public policy in this city and will continue forever and ever and ever to do so. If all we do is simply elect people or unelect people or try to change the law or regulation, it is time to change the fundamental rules of the game and ask you to be part of that process.